Hi, my name's Paul. Welcome to another Smart Home Sunday. And today I'm going to show you how and where you can download Nordic electricity data, as much of it as you can handle. So, for some time now, I've been trying to set myself up an energy dashboard in Home Assistant. My latest little venture sees me loading data into InfluxDB. Now, I want the electricity price market data for, I don't know, at least the last year. I want to download it and get it into InfluxDB. Now, I know it's going to work. I showed that last week. I'm working on the step-by-step, -step, and the first step is to get the data. Here's a little gotcha. I nearly stopped, failed at step one, but I want to show you the way you can get the data. So, a lot of interest in this Nord Pool chart that I built in Home Assistant, and I want to do more than that. So that's why I've got InfluxDB in use and installed on Home Assistant. Check some other videos for that. So I went to the market data, Nord Pool. I thought, well, there's the latest prices, but I, I want history. Oh, data downloads. I want that. Uh, okay, data available. I want to get some data, not currently a trade, uh, but I'd like data, please. Okay, I'll click on that. Um, then access to date. What? For 600 euros per year, I can access historical data? Uh, I don't think so. Let me show you where you can find it. Thankfully, there is a thing called ENSOE. I don't know how you pronounce that, doesn't matter. But the Electricity Market Transparency Platform. You see, here in the EU, there was a regulation passed quite a few years ago, and it basically said that the data must be publicly available. And it is. Now, once you get onto this transparency platform, okay, there's the URL, right? See that? Did you get that? Yeah, good. Once you're in there, you can browse around and have a look. For example, day ahead prices. Uh, I want Finland and I want the time zone for Finland. Now I can see, ooh, there's a set of data for tomorrow, today, yesterday, day before. But look at this, export data. Once you log in, you just go and create yourself a login. It's free. You can do it. I did. And then you'll be given the option to download some data. And once you download it, ta-da! Here I have, for the entire year of 2021, electricity prices for every hour. Now, this is just raw data, so there's some 8,762 rows of it. There it all is. I have the from time to time, what the price was in euros for a megawatt per hour of energy. Yes. So what I need to do is transform this data into a nice little package that I can import into InfluxDB. So hit subscribe if you want to see me do that. I'll work on it next week. I need to show you how I can transform this data into an acceptable format that includes Unix timecode for InfluxDB to ingest it. Hit subscribe. I'll see you next week and we'll continue this journey. But now you know where to find it. That's my tip for today. I hope you feel smarter. I do. It's a Sunday. It's the day for me to feel smart. Every other day I'm just renovating and feeling quite stupid. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.